We well, welcome again honoured guests, board members, parents and students. A special welcome to those parents who have joined us for the first time this year and thank you to our school community for welcoming them with such open arms. I would like to thank the John Collett School Board for their support and drive in enabling the vision and mission of the school to be enacted by our talented and committed staff. I'd also like to thank our Parents and Friends Association for their support this year, and particularly the President, uh, Mrs Patel, who's stepping down this year. Enjoy the rest. Uh, I would also like to give thanks to all those parents who've acted as class parent this year, helped in an excursion, uh, with makeup for Shakespeare at the Walkathon, uh, on walking, uh, working bees at school, or in many other areas over the year. Without the support of our parent community, our school would not enjoy the level of success that it does. Parent support for the school is not just about particular events or helping out in class. While it's very much appreciated, the greater aspect of support is the connection between parents and their children and parents with the school. Parents will always be their child's first teacher and their longest one. While the needs of the child will change over time and their interest in listening will inevitably go up and down, parents will always be their teacher, both in advice and, most importantly, by example. Our parents provide the foundations on which our teachers are able to build further educational structures. Before coming to school from birth to the age of five, the philosophy that underpins John Collett School tells us that children need love. Children, you may be surprised, you don't need a degree and there's no qualification that's required for the most important job in your life, becoming a parent. Yes, you get advice, tips and a plethora of self-help books, but on the whole, you're thrown in at the deep end. Nothing can really prepare you and parents will often be their, harsh, their own harshest critics. This is more prevalent now as often both parents work and the pressure of keeping up through the media is everywhere. However, the good news is that studies show that it's not about the specific amount of time that's required to be spent with a child that's important. It's that that time that is spent together is of quality and is filled with love. As the noted American psychologist, Mr. Harry Harlow, noted, there is no requirement for angelic perfection in parenting. The requirement is just to stay in there. Harry's research tells us that love is work. So do all the studies that follow. The nature of love is about paying attention to the people who matter, about still giving when you are too tired to give, being a mother who listens, a father who cuddles, a friend who calls back, a helping neighbour, or a loving child. Our parents provide the bedrock of care, trust, and empathy on which our teachers are able to build the relationships that are required to ensure a positive learning atmosphere. The extended years that our teacher have with our students facilitates a greater connection that goes beyond curriculum. The support and guidance that they provide enable a student to operate knowing they are safe and supported. As a primary school, it is our belief that primary is primary, and a child's success at this age will come down to the quality of the curriculum we provide and the connection between the child and the teacher. Our focus, our focus is entirely on the five to 12 age group. We see this stage as fundamental in setting the academic foundations as well as the love of learning resilience and feeling of self-worth that a child would need to enter high school and beyond. Now, we are very fortunate to have at John Collett School teachers who are committed to forming those lasting relationships that are required for children to learn. They are well qualified and skilled professionals that are well versed in curriculum and modern teaching methods. Together with the unique aspects within our school such as Shakespeare, Shakespeare Sanskrit, singing, pausing, they look to develop the faculty of attention in all areas. As the French philosopher Simone Weil noted, although 
people seem to be unaware of it today, the development of the faculty of attention forms the real object and almost the sole interest of studies. Most school tasks have a certain intrinsic interest as well, but such an interest is secondary. Attention consists of suspending our thought, leaving it detached, empty, and ready to be penetrated by the object. Now, in philosophy, the teacher is often said to be that which is whatever is in front of you at the time, any time. This could be a child, a parent, a tree, a piece of music, a book, or all manner of things. To give attention is to be a listener, is to be aware and interested. This is the real gift of a John Collett education. So in a final message to our graduating sixth class, I would like to remind you that wherever you go after this evening, the teacher is whatever is in front of you. You just have to listen and be aware. You have the capability. There is something to learn in every situation. And lastly, and this one's for everybody, be kind to your parents. Give them the attention and respect they deserve. They are in your corner for this next learning adventure. Thank you. <laughs>